friendly greetings. I'm Mario Delight and I am back to show you how to construct a curved path. On the ground in front of me I have two prims that are going to become road segments only I want them connected by a third piece with a curve in it. I think I want to make these just a little bit thinner really quickly. Let me do that. To get started, I'm going to construct a cylinder and flatten it. And then I need to take a top-down view so I can get a good angle on what's going to happen here. And I'm going to stretch my cylinder. These, so that the edge of the circle becomes the outside of my curve in a minute. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in here to my object menu and hollow out the shape, making it looks like right about there is thick enough. And now I need to cut my path. So I have two pieces for this. I have a begin and an end segment. I think I'm going to start with the end. I guess I'll start with the begin. And wrap that around like so. I think I might need to stretch this just a little and then move it into place so it's on top of my path. And over on one side it's still not looking too great. I think I need to mess more with my end point. There we go. And maybe hollow it just a little more. And I can also taper the ends of the path to help it fit a little better if I need to. Let's look at it from the sides again. It looks a little thicker than the other pieces. I'm going to play with my stretch again. Make sure it's as thin as I can get it. And also play with my move tool. Yeah, see that's still kind of thick. So let's flatten that again. There we go. And now move it into place. And look at it from the top. Not bad. I can live with that. So now we're ready to texture. I'll go into the texture panel. I'm going to choose all three pieces at once using my shift key. And from my Tamu box of textures, I think I'm going to get fancy with this one and put on the brown flagstone texture. Now, it's not a perfect match. You're going to see a gap where the curve meets the other part of the road. You could play with this, especially with the horizontal offset and the vertical offset, to try to get something that would match on each end, but it's probably a fruitless task. Sometimes in Second Life, you just have to accept good enough and move on to your next project.